Good afternoon and good evening to all. Myself Fuad here. In uh, today's session of Market Movers, we will be taking a look on the Dow Jones Industrial Average, which has been under pressure for last uh, two trading sessions. Today is a uh, Friday's trading session, so you can uh, breathe easy. We will uh, not be that uh, kind of uh, you can say particular about uh, getting involved in the fag end of this week's trading and uh, after us session the market will be closing for the next two days and uh, till monday we won't have any action so we will take it easy we will see if there are any emerging opportunities for us and if indeed some opportunities arise then maybe from uh, the perspective of two three trading sessions we can even think about going for a trade if uh, risk and reward is also in our favor if you consider the trading context for the day earlier in the day during the european trading session we got the iea's energy market outlook and uh, here it has uh, of course considered the risk because of the ongoing pandemic the coronavirus outbreak and uh, as a result of that there is a downside uh, risk to the oil demand in uh, recent months you can say starting from may onwards the demand has uh, recovered uh, somewhat but it is uh, still far lower compared to the pre pandemic days and uh, if we see the cases which are rising in the united states and even uh, in other parts of the world uh, that is increasing the risk of again second wave of lockdowns and that is going to affect affect the economic activity and uh, this is generating fresh concerns and uh, iea has cautions regarding this risk moving on to the north american trading session here for the day we don't really have major releases coming in from the us this uh, job report from uh, canada is uh, all we have uh, in uh, Today's uh, trading session, and I think uh, the PPI data is uh, also been has also been released. And uh, if you consider the Canada's employment scenario now, from uh, the record high unemployment rate, to some extent at least the improvement has come, and now the unemployment rate has uh, gone down to 12.3 percent for the month of June, and. Uh, even if we consider the jobs that have been added for the month of june the figure is just little less than 1 million so we have overall 952000 job have been added and uh, this is of course after uh, the earlier job losses which were in millions and uh, some of those uh, highly affected uh, industries economic activities is uh, coming back and uh, because of that the people are uh, finding some opportunities in the job market but uh, we are uh, still far away from uh, the pre coronavirus days now moving on to the technical segment we will cover the dow jones industrial average and uh, we will also see the light crude oil starting from the dgi the dow jones industrial average technical outlook here is the daily time frame chart and after consolidating closer to 26,000 zone the dough is now moving lower and even into this session it is hovering just close to 25,500 of course it has found some uh, buying momentum on the lower side but uh, I think uh, this is the time to look for some retracement and uh, then go in for fresh short uh, trade you can adopt a sell on rally approach and uh, I am expecting in coming days the Dow Jones Industrial Average to get lower, closer to this 38.2% uh, Fibonacci retracement of its uh, rally starting from 18,160 to almost 27,600. And uh, after this uh, consolidation phase, which has lasted for almost more than a month, I think the chances, the probability is emerging that we will see the Dow Jones moving in lower and uh, there is something which is uh, 
going to be of uh, use for us if we are uh, able to find some opportunities where we can figure out uh, the optimum levels to go short and uh, here we are not really sure if the longer term uh, trend has uh, kind of uh, turned bearish we can't really say that as of now the things are uh, even uh, from these uh, longer term perspective the things are uh, promising on the bullish side but uh, from short to medium term perspective i think we can bet on the dow jones industrial average to show some retracement and that's why for the time being we are uh, uh, only restricting our trading uh, target price to above 24000 and uh, if we are going to take the trade from short to medium term perspective i think uh, even if we are able to figure out any move even less than 1000 points still from our perspective that would be a uh, good enough so if you consider the central pivot point of this month's pivot point series then we have this uh, zone of around 26000 which is going to act as a crucial marker for us so you can say in a way that as long as the price is below 26000 zone we can continue to look out for short selling opportunities and uh, even the regression curve which has uh, flattened because of this uh, long consolidation in which the price momentum has been range bound still now the price has uh, moved in the lower band of this uh, regression curve and also it is below this uh, central pivot point so from both these uh, four hourly charting tools we have this uh, confirmation of sort on the bearish trajectory of the dow jones industrial average and uh, here on the lower side we can target at the bare minimum this uh, prior swing low which is there around 24800 and even if we go down further we have this prior swing low around 24500 so these are the lows which we can target and uh, from uh, from uh, these charts it's looking like that it will be better for us to see if there are some optimum opportunities for us to get involved and uh, i think here we have this uh, one hourly chart with uh, the sms 50 100 and 200 sms confluencing around this uh, 26000 zone we have on the upper side this uh, 100 sma which is there just tad below the 26000 zone and now we also have this golden crossover of uh, 50 sma crossing below the 200 sma which can be used as a confirmation factor for any short selling opportunity but as i said the optimum levels are of high importance whenever we get involved in any trade we have to make sure that we are getting involved on the right price just to make sure that uh, in case we go wrong we shouldn't be suffering too much losses and uh, if we go right then our uh, profit should be high enough to cover uh, some losses which we keep suffering from time to time so we have to keep that uh, principle in mind as well so here if we consider these uh, prior swing low and as well as these uh, immediate swing high this is a minor swing high it is not really a big swing high here we have this uh, proper swing high around 26100 zone which can be utilized as our uh, stop loss zone so here i feel that uh, as long as the price uh, momentum doesn't uh, get strong and if we see the dow jones industrial average consolidating anywhere close to this resistance zone of uh, 50 25800 to 25900 so this is the price band on which you should be targeting for any fresh opportunity to go short on the dow jones industrial average and uh, the stop loss of uh, 26200 should be good enough so for a risk of around uh, 300 to 400 points on the lower side you can uh, almost bet on the dow jones industrial average to cross below 25000 zone so here you are looking at the risk reward ratio which is even can turn out better than 1 is to 2 so these are the zone these are the price zones to watch out for and see how 
price action turns out in uh, today's trading session. Of course, you will uh, need to allow it to consolidate first and uh, then only you should think about getting involved in uh, any sort of trade in the Dow Jones Industrial Average. Now moving on to the commodity segment, here we will consider the light crude oil. After uh, rallying substantially from uh, the sub 7 levels to almost uh, closer to US dollar 40 per barrel, we have this uh, long phase of consolidation which has been unfolding in the light crude oil for uh, almost past uh, one and a half month. And, uh, See, though the price has been range bound, we have been kind of beneficiary of this continuous run on the higher side and now I feel that tide is uh, turning against the light crude oil and uh, from short to medium per term perspective, the opportunities are indeed emerging for us to see if there is a possibility of retracement happening in the light crude oil after its uh, strong rally from uh, 6 to almost 40. Here we had this fall as well. So it has not really covered its prior losses, but uh, even though we have this uh, substantial move and that is uh, not uh, something to be discounted uh, totally. So here we have to be mindful that uh, light food oil is uh, still trading in the upper band of this uh, Pivot point series here it is a uh, little uh, above this uh, central pivot point which is there around uh, 38 and uh, as you can see even in today's session it has uh, indeed found some support on the lower side and uh, is staging a recovery but uh, now the price action has shifted to the low band of this regression curve and if in coming days we see any break below this uh, central pivot point then of course, naturally, the next support zone is there around 35.5 and that would be our uh, target price for any short selling trade which we will uh, look to get involved in the light crude oil. If you consider the hourly chart here, we have this uh, resistance zone forming around uh, US dollar 40 per barrel and uh, as you can see, uh, in uh, today's trading session after making a low close to 38.60 the light crude oil has gained momentum and it has staged the recovery and it is now trying to approach this uh, next zone of around uh, 40 and uh, if you consider this uh, prior uh, swing lows and uh, even here break and then due consolidation and uh, also as I said we already have these uh, 50 100 and 200 uh, SMA confluence convergence around this uh, 40 zone. So taken together we have multiple factors which might uh, put a cap on the rally of the light crude oil around the levels close to 40 and if that indeed comes to pass then I think uh, we can uh, of course duly think about getting involved for a short selling opportunity in the light crude oil. And uh, as I said earlier as well, we will need a due consolidation of it to happen closer to this, uh, this uh, resistance zone. And from that perspective, I think the ideal uh, price to look out for for the light crude oil is going to be 40. And uh, a stop loss can be anywhere close to these uh, prior swing highs, anywhere around 41 to 41.3 should be good enough. So depending on where you are getting your short selling opportunity, you should weigh the risk reward ratio and then act accordingly. As in the financial market, there is nothing certain and things keep changing from time to time. So we also have to adapt and see similar kind of approach where we can think about getting big wins and small losses. And uh, if we are uh, going in for a fresh trade with stop loss of around uh, 100 to 120 points, then I think on the lower side, we should be targeting at least uh, 250 points. And uh, if we are getting involved for a short selling opportunity in the vicinity of uh, US dollar 40 per barrel, then I think the price zone of around uh, US dollar uh, 
38, 7.5 to US dollar 38 is going to be of uh, crucial importance as that is the price zone where we will get the desired risk reward ratio as well. So that's it from my side before I sign off for today's session. Uh, if you have any query or any idea to share, you can write it in the comment section and I would be more than happy to take the discussion forward. Before I sign off, I would also like to remind of the risk associated with trading in the financial instrument and uh, of course one should be careful while using the information provided. Have a fabulous day ahead and a fabulous weekend as well. See you on Monday. Goodbye. Thank you for joining.